Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Topics with me, where today we're going to be doing something a little interesting. I do say that now, that is my catchphrase. So, you guys recently have been asking me on my social media, and sometimes you, you, you come up to my comments and say, Derek, why don't you show us how you do things? You know, you say it's hard, and you know, it's difficult, why not show us what you, what you do on a, not a daily, but like a weekly basis when you make videos. So, I decided to make a video about making videos. And then I'm gonna make this video to post it online. Let's let's just get the intro started. My name is Derek Amal, and I am proud to be. I'm in another town with my family. And so I found a place where everyone will be. Let's talk discreetly. This is topics with me. Okay, so as you can see on my computer, we have the Windows XP sort of wallpaper. This is the higher definition of it because the original one was not up to par of resolution and everything. This is what I use. I use Film or Filmora. I I used to call it Filmorama, but I call it Filmora Go. My friend actually Loopy Doopy. He uses a Go version. So it's Filmora Go. It's it's an Android app and it's also an iOS app. <laughs> I don't prefer using it. I have it on my phone. I've never used it for any video ever. I'm still trying to find a use for it. It is an editing app, so I decided to just keep it in case I need it, but I haven't used it yet. So kind of remind me to do that. So this does take a while to start up. It, it just, it's, it's just like that. And it's the new version, so you, you gotta pick for, you know, aspect ratio, and basically it just makes it look different for everything and this is actually how I made the Okie Doke video for the 80s themed. I got a template from here where I went up here and I took a what is it it was a not an I think it was an effect overlay yeah so it was an effect and then I went to overlay over here and it gave me just like a bunch of stuff to play around with and it gives me little samples here on the side so then you know I can just play it and it basically just shows you what it would be like with just a few things here. It's, it's amazing. I like it. Now, I don't I don't think I am going to stay on this software forever. I've been trying to get Adobe Premiere Pro permanently on my computer, but that does not uh, happen. So I, you know, I'm, I'm going to try. Uh, I, that's how I did that. My second Okie Doke, like right next to you. You know the effect where you you know, you just have someone right next to you, maybe a twin or something. He only agreed to do that episode if I had Adobe Premiere Pro. So, anyway, that is how I do that. I do the rest usually. I do actually, I, I specifically use this for DK Reacts, but, because it's on my computer, but I use it for anything that I have, like, multiple of on different devices. I might even use this on the Filmora Pro. So, please, please, please don't judge, okay? This is called YouTubing on a budget. So the next app I use, I'm not using the screen recorder because I'm kinda in a rush right now, I have to go do something, but I use, this is actually iOS 13. I've made a video, I think, about this, but I use Filmmaker Pro, and I've used it for many years. I've bought a few things and stuff like that. Even though it says Pro version, this is the newer kind of advertising that they do. When I first started using this, you could only really pay to get rid of the watermark and to get a green screen. So at this point, now you have to pay for everything from text to music. And I have a few of my video projects here, so you can see how the, those go. I'm gonna turn up my volume. Special summer kind of club. This is how I put them together. Usually I put them on top of each other using this little plus button over here. And I'll make a whole tutorial about how I do it with actual like good editing and everything. And all of these videos have a significance, which is why I kept them here. I might need them in the future and I might need the little parts within it. There's an Okie Doke video. You see over here there are, they're not layers, but they are like more of uh, those little cuts here and you can add transitions and you can make them whatever they you want you can make them fade or dissolve I'll show you an example so there's an example of one of the transitions chickiness that has been happening
happening on the news. Now, Got a little it. backstory before we get started. So that's why I don't use the flashy transitions because it does, it makes it look like it's not, if something's not right. So that's why I use the non-transition. It's called a jump cut for YouTubers, fellow YouTubers. And you know, you can just add a bunch of effects and wait, did I actually add the intro for this? I feel like I didn't. Hold on. No, I might have to get this video back. Oh no, I made a big mistake, did I? Mm, hold on. It's funny that I noticed this mistake now. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, so this is the video that I, I put all of these together into one big video because I had issues when I was transporting it to my computer. This is a DK Reacts video. And iOS 13 turns the videos upside down if I edit them in this specific program and it, it just doesn't work out okay. So basically I'll tell you more about that app specifically in the future. On to Splice. Now Splice I don't really use often anymore, but I do try my best. This is place this is usually like uh, GoPro footage and stuff like that. But I don't have a GoPro and I don't edit music as much as I used to taking a long time. Basically, it's just music, non-copyrighted, some is. And then the third one that I used, and the final one, it's my video editing app here. So, it's sorry, it's my thumbnail editing app. So, we have the thumbnail from the 24-hour live stream attempt. I only did two hours because it did crash. I'm gonna try again one of these summers, one of these days, one of these summer days. And I can add text, I can, Add effects. This is how I get the text in. I usually use red and black because that sticks out more. I've had questions about that too. I zoom in, you know, there's Instagram aspect ratio. I can switch it to YouTube and zoom back out. You know, I can do whatever I need to. And it just, it's a good app. I recommend for you, it's for iOS and Android. Filmmaker Pro is for iOS only and Splice, I think it's just for iOS. I also have used Voloco, which is the video editing app that, sorry, the voice editing app that I use in some of my videos, like the Oke okay Doke singing video. That's mainly about it. I mean, I do have one more app here. I'm just gonna take this for a minute. I have this app here. It's called Voice Plus. It's kind of reversed here, Voice Plus. That's actually the app. I've only ever used it once and it's for editing the voice track for the Topics With Me theme song. I used it to pre-record everything, because I couldn't sing everything out like at the same time on the app. There was some feedback. So I pre-recorded it, then I switched it to robot. Then I like I, I could pick the levels of which I wanted it to, so I, I you know overrid it and it basically sounds like it does now. Overtune. Oh, oh over. Or is it called over? Auto-tune. Over or auto-tune, it's fine. Really about it, I don't really use anything else. I have not at least nothing nothing that i remember again i only use three phones i'm using the se right now to record videos of this and i do use the se for like my face cam when we're playing a game with Dane and divya but that's really about it so thank you guys for watching this video i really enjoyed making it it was more of a like a realistic non-edited video because i wanted you guys to know how i edit and i didn't want to edit inside my edits and it just gets complicated also please 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 look out for content throughout this week i think that after this video i'm going to do the the midsummer review for sure i'll probably do it where i collage all the moments that have happened in this summer that I haven't put in videos and you guys get to see it and react to it have fun enjoy I'm gonna also try again the DK live stream please 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 have a wonderful week I know summer's coming to an end I know some of you don't want to go back to school but I'll see you guys and if you guys have anything that you want to ask me ask us Q&A could start it, it's basically up to you guys anyway uh, this is going on long enough I will see you guys later but bye okay Thank you guys again.